Like we got our very own uh, chief uh, pinpoint weather chief meteorologist Dave Fraser on the line. Dave, can you just give us some context about the winds that we are seeing in that area of Boulder that's making it so difficult for uh, firefighters to contain these two fires? Yeah, hi, Alex. Uh, uh, thanks for taking my call. Yeah, we, we're dealing with uh, winds. We've seen peak wind gusts in that corridor of about um, 100 miles per hour earlier. Uh, about an hour ago, the wind gusts were running about 73. It's now at 66, so it's still a, a huge problem for fanning the flames there. Um, the wind is coming straight out of the west, so what that's doing is it's downsloping off the higher terrain. It's rolling at a faster speed, Alex. And right there between Highway 93 uh, and, and 72, um, you know, the, the Cold Creek Canyon, it tends to funnel down through the Cold Creek Canyon, which parallels U.S. 36 and it's just blasting through that corridor. Winds to the north of there are not as strong. Winds to the south are a little bit gusty, but the strongest wind is right down the ice. 36 corridor. And Dave, we got a, a tweet from National Weather Service out of Boulder less than an hour ago saying life threatening situation in Superior and Louisville. Not very often you hear something like that from them, and it speaks to the serious nature of this and also the cumulative effect of a lack of snow here along the Front Range in the past couple of months, right? Yeah, and this is Jeremy, as you know, this is the dormant season, so everything would be, uh, you know, unless we had a thick blanket of snow on the ground. Regardless, this is, this is a dry season for us, and so fire season is 12 months out of the year here in Colorado. This is the windy season for us, and any time a storm is heading to Colorado, the wind whips up. That's what we're seeing in anticipation of tomorrow's snow up and down the Front Range into Saturday for uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So it's a potent storm system. It's a powerful storm system. Winds always blast at the base of the foothills, and it's, it's unfortunate. I was actually just looking at a visible satellite picture where you can see the edge of the clouds, Jeremy, at the, at the about midway down the foothills, all the way over the mountains, there's clouds. And then there's nothing over the eastern plain except the fire. I can actually see the fire on visible satellite wow. blowing up in that area and rolling down. And so, uh, yes, you have the fuels, you have the wind, two worst ingredients. And we should say it's not just Boulder County dealing with this. Just got a, an alert from Lakewood Police Department. There's a semi that has rolled over because of high winds at 285 and C470 right mm -hmm. now. It's laying on its side, blocking a couple lanes of traffic on C470. So again, right there, up against the foothills where the wind always whips around. It's a huge problem right now. And as you said, Dave, certainly this time of year. Yeah, and, and those, uh, those north-south uh, north -south routes, um, like you were talking about, you know, Highway 93 there um, uh, at the base of the foothills, 285 certainly has that similar direction to it. So any of those routes that are north-south, as you get away from the base of the foothills, they'll probably feel it across I-25. I was just out a little while ago, and it was certainly even blowing my car around. You could feel it knocking. But the farther you get away from the base of the foothills, the less the wind will be a problem. It's clearly in the superior Louisville area, close to Boulder, where, again, you've got that funneling coming out of Cold Creek Canyon. It, that's, it just acts like an, an extra blowtorch to kind of funnel the wind. It's kind of like that same effect you get in downtown Denver. When the wind is blowing, it's always tough as it wraps around the buildings, and that's what you're seeing there over on the west side. Dave, I'm curious if you have any indication as to how long this blowtorch of wind is going to uh, continue to sustain itself, and uh, how, how long of a factor is that going to be for firefighters out there? Well, we've got the high wind warning, and that'll go till this evening. Generally, what happens, Alex, is you got to go an hour or two past sunset. Sometimes the wind gets a little bit stronger just as the sun sets, but should relax within an hour or two after sunset. All right, Dave Frazier, our chief meteorologist, joining us on the phone. Dave, uh, thanks for the update there.